Hey, how are you doing today? Today we're going to make a strong password. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and share my YouTube videos because why not? Let's learn something. They're kid friendly. Your kids can learn. Um, as you can see today, I'm wearing my blue light glasses. I have LASIK eye surgery, so I don't need glasses, but they help with the blue light. So um, passwords, passwords are very important. Um, I'm someone who's going to cybersecurity. And one of the things you have to do is have secure passwords. Do not reuse your passwords. That is the worst thing you can do because if someone gets a password into one place, they're gonna check it everywhere. And then guess what? Everything's hacked. So I know you're like, who cares? Someone hacked my Facebook, but it's not cool when they hack your bank account. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and share a different screen. Um, gives just to kind of help you out, like what's important of having a password, um, a strong password. This is what I found on Reddit. So if you have a password just with four characters, numbers only, with a brute force attack, they can get into your password instantly. In a brute force, that is um, a program that's used and they're just constantly just churning out, you know, what you're um, trying to figure out what your password is. So that's what hackers use. You don't want that to happen. And if they, and if they are going to do that to you, because, you know, things happen, breaches happen all the time, you don't want them to find it out instantly. So having a password with 11 characters, numbers only, that's two seconds. Password, now they're into your bank account. Um, you know, so then we have, you know, lowercase, uppercase, you know, so on and so forth. We're looking at line 11 here. It's so uppercase and lowercase letters, like five years. You know, that's that's pretty good. Five years, you know, takes them five years to keep going hacking at it. Then we get 41 years if we have numbers, uppercase, lowercase, you know, numbers and all that. Me personally, I want you to take at least a thousand years. <laughs> so I think a good 15, um, you know, 15 lowercase letters. Me, I actually mix up my passwords with numbers, uppercase and lowercase, and I actually put symbols. So, um, and I normally keep them about 15, so about 15 billion years will take you to get in my passport, get into anything. So, but, you know, if you're gonna try, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. Like, you know, like my mom says, don't make it easy for them, make them work for it. So we're gonna go ahead and build, um, you know, simple code to do that. Um, there's many ways you can build a, um, a password generator, generation co generator code. I'm gonna do the most simplest one, but there's ones you can be more complex. But since my videos are made to be, um, you know, kind of entry level, kind of basic, if you please, if you would say, cause that's why I like it. Cause I'm learning also, we're just do something on, um, you know, basic. So we're gonna go ahead and import string. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to import random. There we go. So the first thing we do is characters. Um, hold on. Sorry, looking at my notes. For some reason, my notes went away. And we all know I'm a firm believer in notes. So, <laughs> all right. So we want to have characters. Um, and you know what, just for, I'm going to copy it down just how I have it in the um, notes that I used. And actually, I will have a link to this so you can see it too. So we're going to put our little hashtag so it knows not to, you know, read it. Characters to generate. Oh, I notice everything is, hold on, let's do this. Let me copy and paste something. I think that should be colorful. Shouldn't be all grayed out paste. Okay. That doesn't work. Don't worry. We'll come back to that later. Okay. We'll put characters to generate password from. So these are the characters that we want to include in our password. So we're going to name this character equal. And we'll put list. So we want strings. And we want letters, okay? And then we're gonna put plus string, oh, let me put a space, string, string. Ugh, can't spell today, long day. Digits. Then we want, we're gonna just put some random symbols and I'm gonna copy and paste these over because there's just a bunch of random symbols. Um, you wanna make sure that whatever you're using, like if you 
Like for example, at work sometimes it will say, I need, you can only use certain characters, certain symbols, so many numbers. There's actually, um, I'll probably copy and paste it over at the end because I'm not gonna do this one, but you can put how many symbols, numbers and letters you need. And sometimes it says like, um, I forgot some places will be like, only use these three symbols. So we got that over, but we'll do that at the end. Baby steps, baby steps. And let's look at, so then we're gonna go ahead and define, you know, our function. So it's gonna be generate random password. It's gonna be our, you know, cause if, you know, me, someone who's random password, sometimes it's hard to think like, what do I need? Um, so just for our notes, length, because someone asked that I put notes in here. So like if you put notes in the put comments or you, you inbox me, DM me on LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram, I do listen. I will, you know, this is interactive. Length of password, length of the password from the user. So um, like I think at my job, uh, like our passwords have to be a certain length. Don't ask me what they are, can't remember. But sometimes you'll get that, like even like your banking apps, like, oh, your password has to be 10 characters long. I will admit that is annoying. So um, we want the length and it's gonna be into, equal to the integer and the input. And we're gonna want it to ask, enter password length, right? Okay, we're good. Um, and then we want to put a shuffle. So we'll put um, shuffling rant. We'll, we'll, we'll put shuffling characters so it can randomize it. Random dot shuffle. There are a couple of websites that you can use to that will also do this. You know, if you're wondering, like, well. Is there a website that can do this? Yes, there is. Oh, oh, I forgot to put two. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're gonna put another note, picking, not pricking, picking random characters from the list. Okay, All right. So password, and then we put hard brackets. There we go. And we're gonna do a for and loop because we're gonna want this to loop around until we get the number of the characters. So let's say we want six characters. We're gonna wanna run this loop six times. And of course we've worked on loops before that goes on behind the scenes. So you don't have to do it yourself. It's gonna do it. You're gonna program to do it. So, um, okay, make sure, shuffle, okay, shuffle, yes. Character password. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm like, wait, hold on. There you go. It's okay. Has, you know, you see the red squiggly lines or the highlights for um, this ID that I'm using. That's my indication that there might be something wrong. So let's go ahead and do write this for in loop. So for I in range length. Password, append, random choice, character. Uh, did we, okay, making sure I'm like, did we put character or characters? Remember spelling means things <laughs> and capitalizations mean things. So that is our for loop. And we were gonna get out of this loop. So we are gonna go back. Cause remember we are still, I'm defining our function and you see the indentions because we're still inside of that lovely um, lovely function. When we go out, we want to go, we want to indent it back. So our for and loop, and then we're gonna have it random. Well, actually we'll go ahead and put our node in. Shuffling the result password. 
So we're going to random shuffle uh, password. Yep. I love how it auto fills. All right. And we're converting the list to string and printing the list. So we're going to print quotation marks dot join password. Okay. All right. And then this is when we go back. We're getting out of this loop. Generate random password. All right. Let's make sure I did all this correctly. Best way to find that is um, just do a double check. Don't see anything. Yep, everything's colored. Uh, that's green, not red. So I think we should be good. So let's go ahead and run this. So how long do we want a password? Um, going back to our other screen that I talked about. So let's go ahead and share it. We want a good, strong password. Oops. Um, uh, so we let's do let's do sixteen. Let's do yeah we'll do sixteen. Let's get them out. Just go back here. So I like the enter password length. Sixteen forgot to click it. Sixteen. Look at that. We got that's sixteen. Uh, that's very random. Um, I know some people that will try to come up with a way to remember things. Uh, junior varsity percentage inside, six. Glimmer, five and 12B star. That is a way you would kind of try to kind of remember that. <laughs> uh, you can come up with your own acronyms, but that's how the way you would want to kind of remember that. <laughs> What's whatever works for you. Uh, do not write down your passwords and stick them underneath your, well, a lot of people work remote, but when people work in the office, it was very common uh, to write your passwords um, on a post-it note and put it underneath your keyboard so you can flip over your keyboard. Do not do that. Uh, that is bad. <laughs> um, but uh, me personally, a password manager. Password managers are awesome. Uh, so use the password manager. I'm not gonna say which one I use because they're not paying me to say so. Uh, <laughs> and so, like I said, this is like a simpler version of this and I'm gonna copy over a more complex one. I'm not going to type it out, but we're gonna go through it line by line. Let's get rid of this. It's all gone and paste. All right, so this one's a little different. So same as the one before, uh, import the string from random and different, and this one is a little different. So um, it's, this one's gonna ask where we're gonna, um, how many of the, how many of which characters do we want? So for example, uh, we have alphabet. So that's of course alphabet letters A through Z. Digits. Um, how many digits, numbers, special characters. And just like before you put the special characters in there. Um, and then like before you still had, um, we had the, um, we had the coding for the list string, um, you know, for our list, the string of letters plus digits and characters. So this one right here, it's length. It's gonna ask you that same question again on line 13. What is the length of your password? Um, alphabet count. So enter the, um, enter the alphabets um, count. I mean, the, the number of alpha, ah, number of letters you want. Um, so we would put like, uh, I want four. Um, digits, I would use the word numbers, but um, like I said, I copy and paste this over. Um, enter the numbers, um, enter how many numbers you want, basically that's what it's saying. So we want three numbers and special characters, we want three. So characters count equals alphabet count plus digit counts uh, plus special character count. And right here, you see that we're defining this function. So is this all in there? There. So yeah, like it said, we just went over a number of 
character types. This one right here, check the total length with characters sum count, print not valid if sum is greater than the length. So characters total count is greater than password length. So that's, you know, if you're like, well, I need XX three plus four plus five. Well, and you ask for too many, I forgot what numbers I said, so I'd not add that up in my head fast enough. So initializing the password. And then you have another for in loop. In the for loop, as you can see, it's looping the number of numbers you need, the number of letters you need and the special character. So you have, there's a different loop for each of them. And then we have our if statement, if count is, if the total characters count is less than password length, add a random characters to make it equal to length. So if you say you need 10, but I told you I need at least two of these, three of these and two of these, it's like, well, it's gonna go ahead and add that in for you. And then we have that same coding right here, random dot shuffle password and print join password because it's going to convert that list into a string and then invoking the function generate random password so let's go ahead and use this one let's run okay so let's say we want that good old 16 16 um i need at least four letters i need at least three digits say and i need at least five special characters and here you go we got our 16 digits um, ooh, let's see if I can make up an act, something to remember that. A, a, ooh, this is hard. A parentheses, uh, I, you know, I'm not gonna try this one. I would not know what I would make up for this. <laughs> but if you got something, leave it in the comments. So that's going over how to make, uh, how to have a secure password generator. So whether you're in cybersecurity, whether you're just a regular, whether you're, you're in cybersecurity or not, everyone needs um, very secure passwords. You should never have any of your accounts share the same password and use a password manager to manage all your passwords. So like my password manager, it is on my phone and it is on my browser. And to get into it, let's just say you stole my phone and you're like, I'm gonna get into your passwords. Guess what? Um, you need the, um, an authenticator. And I'm um, an authenticator. You can either have, there's an app called Authenticator. Um, that can help with your um, two-factor author, author, authentication. So to get in my password, to get in my password manager, a lot of them, and once you have an authentic, authenticator app, or you can do an SMS code. So that depends on you. Uh, so that's what, if you're wondering what 2FA means, that means you need two factors. So that means your password and your authentic, um, in a random generated code, you can get it from an um, authenticator. Some people, it's like a little fob thing. There's different names for them or you can have an SMS code, or you can use the other multi-factor authentic authentication. So that's what you will normally um, see. That's normally where you are, what you know, and what you have on you. Uh, those are, it's something similar to that. So normally what you will see is like in a movie, like if you're watching those spy espionage movies, Bob uh, is trying to get in, He's not supposed to be there. So he needs Bob version two or version one. You need to get his fingerprint, his eye, that is something on you and something you know, and that's the secret password, which might be a fob or the authenticator. So sometimes it's that biometric screening. So you have a password, you have your biometrics and you have something else. So um, next time you watch a movie, you can be like, that's multi-factor um, authentication or what you should have on all your, um, all, um, all your things like your email, your social media is two-factor authentication. So yeah, so that's a little um, of my little cybersecurity information I'm giving to you. Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Um, leave a note in the comments and say, hey, I had no idea what you're talking about. Or look, look it up and say, hey, I know what you're talking about. I learned something new. So thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.